All right, guys. Uh, what's up? Really no intro today. From the title of the video you've seen, you know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about workout programs, how you can make your own, what principles you need to include in them. And I'm going to have a free program at the end if you guys want to check that out. I'm going to be going over principles and stuff today. It's going to be certain like you know ideas and things that you should implement when picking exercises or picking rotations and splits for your, your programs. But it doesn't, there is no cookie cutter for everyone. So what might work for me might not work for you. What I've learned in my experiences might not be the same for you. No matter what experience level you are, these principles should and will apply. I'm going to be including a program, which is, which is actually like exactly what I'm running now. And I'm going to include at the end and I will go over my thought process behind picking each exercise or behind picking like what I do. So you guys can kind of learn from like just my thought process and what I think about when I am picking these exercises. But first, we'll start off with like your split. It's the most important part. There's different types of splits. And if you look at any like fitness influencer or anybody online, you can find a bazillion types of splits. Arnold did something different than Ronnie Coleman or this and that. There is like the bro split, which is, you know, training like each individual body part like once a week. But I would say that the most efficient splits are either push pull legs, full body or upper lower. And personally, I don't like push pull legs. I find that being in the gym six times and pushing myself hard as fuck six times a week takes a toll on my recovery. I want to say it's mental because just like not having like an actual rest day kind of fucks with me because the total volume is somewhat the same as upper lower or full body split but just mentally I feel like I can't recover enough full body three times a week like Monday Wednesday Friday is great for strength and it's great for hypertrophy as well I would definitely recommend that one I tried that before and it worked very well for me but I personally enjoy just doing the upper lower split four times a week so I'll do Monday lower Tuesday upper Thursday, lower, Friday, upper. But yeah, I like that one just because I like being in the gym a little bit more, but also having time to recover. And I also like training like similar muscle groups, like all at once. Cause I like, it's, you know, I get, I feel like I get better pumps and I feel like I just feel nicer. An important part of like choosing the split is intensity versus uh, frequency. So you want to have a good enough frequency to where you're training multiple times a week at least two to three times, I would say, but also enough intensity to where you're stimulating the muscle. So you could have like a really intense chest day, but then not be able to train it for a week, which is not really optimal. It'll work. You'll get gains from it, but it's not optimal and you probably could do a little bit better. And so that's why I want to aim for at least two to three times a week when I'm creating a program. So I would choose from the three that I said, try it out, see what works for you. I heard people have great stories with push pull legs. It just doesn't work for me. Um, yeah. If you stick to the end and look at the program, I am going to give you a upper lower split for f it's four times a week. And that should be enough. If you haven't, if you don't know what to try, you can try that and see how it works for you. Next would be exercise selection. So the main exercises that I would say are going to be the most beneficial to you are compound movements. And the difference is compound versus accessory is compound movements use uh, very similar muscle groups at the same time to perform the action while also engaging your core at the same more than an accessory movement and accessory movements are just you know add-ons to the compound movements having it that so you can isolate like a certain muscle that you want to grow a little bit more and i think they both have their place in a program but for at least my programs i want to focus on compound movements because they just give you the most bang for your buck they work the best if you're a beginner and you go into the gym and you just do a handful of compound lifts a day and just focus on form and increasing the weight over time you, you are going to make gains. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, there's times where I go into the gym and I'll do my like one, um, like my three heavy sets of a uh, compound lift and I can literally feel like I can go home and I had a great workout. They're just, they, they, they do their job and sometimes it's best to not overcomplicate things when choosing a program and just having, you know, your movements. Um, the next important part I would say is periodization or so how often you change your program or how often, and also I would like to include in this uh, how many sets and how many reps you do of each exercise. So again, there really is no definitive answer. I would say that you should stick with your program for at least four weeks to make sure that you're actually like trying to learn the movements and not just switching it up because you get a little bit discouraged. So this is that's why exercise selection is important because if you don't pick exercises you like to do, um, you're gonna get bored and you're not gonna wanna go to the gym. The way that I like to structure like sets and reps for my program. So since I have a, a compound lift first, I like to do like the heavy sets first. Yeah, I'll do anywhere from three to eight reps on my compound movements to make sure that I'm focusing on getting stronger and seeing how like far my strength is progressing. Yeah, so I'll start off with the heavy compound movement. And then as my workout progresses, 
and I have my accessory movements, I'll add a little bit more set or a little bit more reps, add some more volume onto those specific muscle groups or those things that we're trying to target. Let's get into the program. I'm gonna probably pop these up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But for the first lower day, so the way that I split it up is I split it up into two main compound movements for the day and then about three accessory movements for each day. And so for lower day one, our main compounds are going to be barbell back squat and Romanian deadlift. These are both, about, it's, a, it's a squat and a hip hinge, which are the two um, comp types of compound movements you can have for your legs. And so the first set or the first for barbell back squats, we're going to have three sets of five and Romanian deadlifts three sets of eight. So with our main compounds, we're going to be focusing on getting stronger at these throughout the weeks. And that could be through increasing or by, through increasing the weight, like physically getting stronger or also just having better form and getting stronger with a good range of motion. After we focus on those, we're going to do our accessory movements. doesn't mean you slack on these, but they're not as important as the main ones. So like when I when you come into the gym, I think that you should just focus, like solely be focused on these two and then trying to improve at these two. And then everything else is to assist you. It's an accessory. It's on top of the compound movements. So for the accessories, I have dumbbell walking lunge, three sets of 12 to 15. That way we can have, you know, some type of you know like leg pressing movement on your or squat movement on each individual leg and then seated leg curls three sets of 12 to 15 just you know isolating the hamstring a little bit and then hip abduction adduction which is more of just uh maintenance and you know making sure you don't have like hip imbalances and stuff like that for the next upper body day similar to leg movements we have like a press and pull but the thing about presses and pulls they're a little bit different just because you can have a horizontal push or pull and then a vertical push or pull. And so for the first upper body day, we're gonna have our barbell bench, which is a um, horizontal push, and then a weighted, weighted pull-ups, which are vertical pulls. And so we're gonna have those as our main compounds, and barbell bench, three sets of five, weighted pull-ups, three sets of eight. And then for the accessories, we're gonna have dumbbell shoulder press, which is a vertical push, and then uh, three sets of 10 to 12, and then a T-bar row, which should be chest supported, and we're going to have that as a horizontal pull. And then lastly, we'll have standing face pulls, um, three sets of 12 to 15. And then we'll have that to like another um, maintenance type of movement so that we're strengthening our rear delts and our rotator cuff. So for the next lower day, it's the same thing as the first day, but kind of reversed. So we'll, have, we'll start with our hip hinge instead of starting with our squat. So we'll do a deadlift, conventional or sumo, doesn't really matter. Three sets of three, very heavy. And... Um, then we'll have our hack squat or squat movement, three sets of eight. And then for our accessories, we'll have glute ham developer, three sets of 10 to 12, uh, another type of hip hinge, leg extensions to just hammer the quads, three sets of 12 to 15, and then calf raises so that we don't completely ignore our calves and grow them up a little bit. And then for the upper day two, you'll see that it's also reversed uh, from the first upper day. So we'll have, we'll start with a barbell row, um, a horizontal pull. And then that one uses your core way more than like a chest supported T-bar row. And so that'll be three sets of eight, and then we'll do military press. And it's also not supported, and it's a vertical push. We'll do that for three sets of five. And then for accessories, we'll have a lat pull down, three sets of 10 to 12, a vertical pull, and then weighted dips, which is um, not really either of them, but it's a, it's a type of push. I would say, I would say it's a horizontal push. But um, yeah, weighted dips, which is, I would say a horizontal push we'll do that for three sets of 10 to 12. i really just think weighted dips are fun as fuck and then we'll do some dumbbell lateral raises to just you know build up some delts <laughs> i mean who doesn't want bigger shoulders and so we'll do that for three sets of 15. and yeah so i posted these up on the screen you should probably should uh screenshot them try it out try out the program for four weeks i would say before you start switching things up and even then you shouldn't switch it up too much you should keep most of the main movements in there um, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll be try to, you know, have some discussion or try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you try it out and you feel that some things work for you, some things don't, let me know what does so that I can try to fix that for future programs or just for yourself and help the, the program be better tailored for you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a phenomenal day and rest of your day or whatever the fuck you're watching this.